Welcome to part 14 of building the Rick and Morty app series. In the last part, we set up a lot of base functionality for this collection view layout thing. And in this video, we're gonna actually build out different layouts and talk about how we're gonna actually get the data into these cells to configure them and you know actually use custom cells. So start by dropping a like down below. You guys know the drill and let's jump into things. So the first thing like I promised we will do is actually build out the unique layouts for each of the different sections. At the moment, those three functions reside inside of the uh, detail view. So we'll build them out here and then we'll abstract them to our view model. So for the very first section, what we actually just want is one cell. So I'm gonna just hard code it so we can see it for now. And then later this will be driven by view models. So what we'll do here is we'll say switch on section. And if the section is one, so this is collection view number of items in section. So we'll say case one, return one. Uh, case two, this should actually be one since we're enumerating by zero. Uh, perhaps we'll return, I don't know, maybe eight. And then for section two, uh, we can go ahead and return maybe like 20. And the other thing that we want to do is for at unknown, unknown, or I guess we can do default. We can say return one and the error will go away. If you build and run now, you'll see in section one, we'll just have one cell a few in the second and several in the third. And this is more reminiscent of how our data is actually formatted. So we'll come into here and let's build these out. So for the very first section, we want kind of a large cell since we want to show the character's image. We want it to go left to right and maybe we want it to be 50% of the height of you know some, some other larger container. So let's see how we want to do this. So we have the item as one to one ratio of the group. We still want the group to be vertical. Its size, we want it to have a fixed, you know, width of, um, you know, 1.0. We can now also do here a fractional height. And the height that I'm going to go ahead and do is maybe 0 0.5. And let's actually take a look at this and let me see what happens. All right, we're going to click it. And if you look at that, it actually looks exactly how we want it to look. So we can not only control the item percentile sizes, but we can control the group itself. So if I make the height 1.0, what I expect to see is this entire section, this group for this first section actually takes up the entirety of our collection views bound height. So we'll make it 0 0.5. And that's essentially all we need to do for the uh, for the first one here. And let me also fix up the indentation since it's a little screwed up. For the second section here, so it looks like I actually messed up the naming here. It should be info section. And let me fix this one here. This is episode section. So the info one is a little typo. Just fix that right there. For the second one, what we want to do is we want to have a uh, perhaps grid uh, so two columns where each cell is basically a piece of information about the character. So what I'm going to want to do is we'll make this, you know, 1.0 and 1.0 for the item. And let me keep the uh, content inset here temporarily. But the group, we actually want the group to be horizontal. And... Sub items, we're gonna want two items next to each other and it'll be the same item. The width of this group will be uh, the entirety and the heights will be 150. So let's go ahead and give this a build and run and let's see what it actually looks like. All right, so we came down here and it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these uh, particular green cells. Let me make sure I counted that correctly, but it doesn't really look correct. Something kind of looks off. So let's see what is actually off. Let's make the item 0 0.5 for the width for its group, and let's see if that looks any better. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And actually, one thing I just realized that I'm screwing up is we're actually in the episode section. So let me undo all of this. And this one I'll actually not undo. Let's leave that as is. Let's jump up here to the info section because this one here is the info section, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this horizontal, we're going to have two items in here, and we'll leave this as is, go ahead and give that a run, and let's see if that looks any better. 
All right, doesn't look any better quite yet. Let's go ahead and make this 50% once again for the info section and for the width actually is what I want to do. And let's see if this looks any better. All right, still doesn't look any better, but actually we did fix what we wanted to fix. We now have the cells side by side, AKA two of these rows. The reason you can't really visually see it is because the cells are flush up against each other. So let's actually fix that. Let's actually add a bit of spacing here. So we're gonna say for the leading of each item, we'll have two. The bottom will make zero, and for the trailing, we'll have two as well. And let's see if we start to see any space between these items. Okay, we in fact do start to see some space. Let's add some uh, margin back for the trailing, uh, by the top and bottom, I should say. And let's see if these are looking a little better. All right, so we definitely have our uh, four rows and our two columns here. Things are looking pretty good. So we're gonna have some data in here about the character. And as you scroll down, if these are gonna be all the episodes, this is gonna get a little wild, right? Like there's gonna be n number of episodes. We don't want it to be this unlimited scrolling thing. You certainly could have it be like that, but we, we can do better. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to adjust our layout. So the item here will have a fractional width of one, a height of one, and what I'm gonna actually do here is a little different from the other two sections. We're gonna want this to be horizontal for the group, and this is gonna be a little unique. We are going to want our width dimension to be fixed, or it could be, uh, I guess it could be fractional as well. Let's say 0 0.3. The height, we're gonna actually go ahead and stick with 150, and on this section, we're gonna say this has a orthogonal scrolling behavior. And we can either do uh, continuous group leading. Let's just do continuous to see what the heck this even means. And then we're gonna adjust as needed. And this is really cool. This is one of the coolest things about compositional layouts. So if you look at this, we can actually scroll horizontal now. And this actually made a carousel for us. Now our insets are a little messed up. So let me actually fix this. So we can actually see each of these individually. I'll add 10 to each of these. And this is the part where compositional layouts really shine. So here we have each of these cells as one third the width of the entire screen, the group in this case, and we can continuously scroll them like this. Now, in some cases you wanna be able to page, like I don't wanna be able to stop the scroll right there. And we want the sizes to be much more appropriate. So let's actually fix all of that right now. So we're gonna want the behavior here to be paging and you can do it by group or you can keep it centered. I'm just gonna do a group paging. We want each of the groups here to be zero point, let's do, let's try 0 0.8 and see what that looks like. Give that a build and run. And I'll scroll down here. And I think this looks a lot better. If I page, it'll actually snap to the next card instead of, you know, just like being able to stop like right here, which would be a little strange. So obviously we're gonna to need to play a little bit with the, um, you know, the padding. Looks like this one's way more than like what we've got up here. We'll probably also want to have nice uh, section titles perhaps, but I digress. We're in pretty good shape with our layout. Before we wrap up this video, let's take each of these functions and we're gonna move them into our view model. So I'm gonna literally cut and paste. So I'll cut those, Command X. We'll jump into the detail view view model. And down here, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is say mark layouts. I'm gonna paste these back in our view. We're gonna prefix these calls with view model, view model and view model. If you go ahead and build, it's gonna yell at you and say, it can't find any of this stuff because all the stuff exists within UI kit and we're just gonna create it like so. Let's see what the errors we have here. And it looks like it's yelling because these are all privatized. So we want to actually publicize these functions that we copy and pasted into our view model. Go ahead and command A, control I everything, which will fix all the indentations. And let's jump back to our view and make sure it's nice and small because we really don't want all that logic in here. So this should be as small as possible. This I think is fair to leave in here, actually creation of the layout. We're getting that layout from our view model. And let's see if we can further consolidate 
this copy and pasted code because I think we should be able to do that, right? So it looks like this item is identical between um, two of these. So we can go ahead and consolidate that perhaps to some function. It also looks like the um, padding here is the same as well. So later on, we'll consolidate that as well. But for now, I think we're in pretty good shape. Let's just build and run and make sure our layouts are looking good. So we're in light mode, let's try, try dark mode here. So cool, it looks pretty good, same as before. We've got our nice layout. We should have our picture up here, um, you know, eight pieces of information about the character. We might need to, you know, change this number and adjust as needed, but we've just hard coded all these counts to illustrate the layout. And here we have all of the horizontal carousel cards that are going to house the actual um, the actual episodes. So one thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is make the leading on here five, and I'm gonna make the trailing on here eight, since the gap between the carousel cells looks like a little much. And I think we're in better shape, still a little high for my liking, but I digress. That's where we'll pause for this video. In the next part, we're gonna start to actually model out uh, the data as well as you know we'll need to build the cells and actually hook all this stuff up so thanks for watching drop a like before clicking away comment any questions if you have any problems happy to help share the video twitter linkedin you can definitely tag me my personal linkedin i'll link it down below always love interacting with you guys i'll see you in the next part